And of course, we will look at another sutta. That sutta is called Compassion Suttas. Right? Uh, it is said that the monk, right, even not enlightened, it means that those who are newly ordained, right, they are trained to also possess uh, these five uh, compassionate qualities. Okay? You can see that the whole of the Buddha's work is about you know, teaching you know, the Dharma's out of compassion. Right? The compassion seems to be the, the, the motivation factors behind all these things. Right? And, um, you see, the Sutta says, uh, it said, um, okay, uh, possessing uh, these five qualities, a resident bhikkhus show compassion. To the lay people, even lay people, lay lay monk, right? Uh, not enlightened yet. Uh, we also have to practice compassion to the lay people. And we look at this. These are found, found shown in the sutra. Is that he encouraged them in regards to the virtuous behavior? Okay, so it means that the monks have to train them, to teach them, encourage them. You know, in the practice of the morality. <clears throat> okay, uh, remind them. You know, not to do evil, to do good. Right, for the purification of the mind. And then the Dharma is centered around you know, uh, the purification of the mind. So encourage them yeah, to do good. Yeah, so this is the, the task given by the Buddhas. Right? And then the, the second one, he settled them in the vision um, of the Dharmas. Right? It means that he, he has to teach them you know, the proper understandings of the Dharmas. Right? And the third one, when they are ill, he approached them and aroused mindfulness by saying, let the honorable ones establish mindfulness on that which is worthy. Okay, so this is something very interesting because, uh, you know, you, the monks also encouraged, the, the Buddha also encouraged monks, right? If anybody falls sick, right, uh, you have no any reason not to attain on that sick person, okay? So, so we have no excuse, right? If any, no excuse, right? If anybody falls sick, then with their family's invitation, we have to attend on, on them. I remember during, uh, you know, this COVID, uh, three years COVID time, uh, of course, we cannot travel. But those people who know that, you know, we, um, you know, I usually do this, and they invited me. And then how they do it, they, they, they do through the, what do you call WhatsApp video. Uh, video broadcast, is it? <laughs> and that was also very effective. It is very, very effective. And you can, you can feel that, you know, when, uh, especially the sick person, you know, he was lying down there, you know, he can't do anything. But when someone come to them, right, talk to them, or to, to just to give a simple Dhamma talk, right, or even to give them blessing, they, they felt so much better. Uh, so this is also the Buddha's instructed us, you see, to attend on the sick people is like to attend, you know, on the Buddha himself, okay? So we regard this as a very compassionate act. Right? If anybody falls sick, or even I think, you know, if any of your, your relative, uh, you know, falls sick or any, or is hospitalized, right? Uh, if you invite the monks, you see, I mean, this is also a good opportunity to invite the monks to go there, you know, that is also the... The, the compassionate act, okay, for him. And then the, the, the fourth one, when the large sanghas of bhikkhu has arrived, including bhikkhus from various states, uh, very, various countries, right, he approached lay people and informed them, friends, a large sanghas of bhikkhus has arrived, including bhikkhus from various states, make merit. It is an occasion to make merit. Or do merit, do merit. Okay, so we don't feel shy. You know, if, if, Say, for example, um, if anybody, you know, come to the temple or to Brahma Vihara, uh, then we will announce in the, in the WhatsApp group, okay, come and do merit. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't block me for this. <laughs> because the Buddha, the, the Buddha said this is the, the good opportunity, you know, to announce to the, the people, you know, to make merit. Okay, so this is also the act of compassion, you know, on our part. Right, to announce, you know, these meritorious deeds uh, to be performed by the lay people. And the fifth one, he himself eat whatever food they have given to him, where the cause of excellence, he does not squander what has been given out of faith. Right? So we have to accept whatever offered or given by the lay people. 
So possessing these five qualities, uh, a resident bhikkhu show compassion, right, to the lay people. Okay.